I stopped that and it didn't stop by itself. No, you stopped it. Vinny Lou! Ha! Jane Brown, and you're listening to the Rock on the Fire! <laughs> I guess that's it. <laughs> right, yeah, right the fucking end. Thank you for listening to Rock Under Fire. We'll see you next time. <laughs>
I was I was a fighter. I was always fighting. And I, I hit this. You know, I took shots from kids, whatever. He goes, but I hit a man in his prime. 37 year in his prime. He goes, my father hit me so hard. He goes, I still feel it today. <laughs> 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 Just uh, check it out. That's my that, and check it out is the song. Yeah, you know anybody out there? That's my what's going on really. It's uh, I've been watching a lot of documentaries lately. There's a couple uh, docs on Netflix now. They have the uh, Chicago one, man. Awesome. That uh, oh, you watched it? Yeah, yeah. very good, very good. Because I know Mike's got this uh, Chicago boner lately. He's talking a lot about the first album lately. So uh, um, Keith Richards is on there. Air. Keith Richards one is good because he's when he was recording yeah, the Keith his one's solo. That's cool. That's cool. I watched that twice. Yeah, really good. Very interesting. I watched that for you guys. Basically, yeah. uh, you know, I mean, you know, I'm not a huge Stones fan. I can get by yeah, with some yeah. Stones. Doing some homework, but, uh, bro. Yeah, it was. Yeah. You know, I, you know, it, what 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 gets me is that I'm like, okay, these two guys are really in love with the Rolling Stones. There has to be something there. What am I missing? Where do I got to dig yeah, in? Yeah, thanks. You bro. know, and, that's, that's, well, take that as a compliment. I, you should. You really should. And I'm trust, glad you do. Trust our taste. It I, I, well, no, I trust both of your tastes. Otherwise, I don't think we'd be sitting across from each other at this yeah. table. You know what I mean? Mm. We wouldn't. The three of us wouldn't be together if that were the case. I mean, we have our disagreements on music. There's no, you know, hands down. But there's got to be something about the Rolling Stones I that's they're enormous. <laughs> Stop looking. I like how negative this topic is, man. People like the dirt. We're just, really giving the people what they want. Stop just, looking at my I'm list, not, Mike. I'm not looking at you anything. My list is on my phone. You, you can't fucking you see it. Don't. don't no. look at my I just, list. I just, I don't, I'm trying, like, I'm, like, none of us know each other's shit. So I just kind of, like, glanced over and saw one of yours accidentally. You I'm know like, some of mine from past conversations. Yeah. You, you know some of mine. So really, there's no criteria to this. It doesn't, I, no. see, but what I did was I took classic rock metal. Because, you know, we're rock under fire. You know, I didn't really go too much into pop. I didn't go into, like, Hall & Oates or anything like that. I have little personal criteria for me. Just, just my own thing. And I don't care how anybody else did it. But uh, there are obvious... There's, like, so many songs that none of us can, st- can stand. And there's a lot of songs that, you know, you and me, have, uh, uh, I, Tracy, to our listeners, uh, we have have many d- discussions about songs like... Um, <laughs> Uh, don't right, don't, gonna, there's, don't one song, okay. there's one song okay yeah. that we both agree that we don't like, but uh, it has like this like weird sentimental thing. It reminds me of childhood. It's on my list. So if so I could shut find up. if I could find like any redeeming qualities about that song whatsoever, it didn't make my list. There Fair. like there's like that song. Um, all right, there's a song called. Um, all right, I'll, it's a Starship song. All right, everybody agrees it's one of the worst songs ever written, but it didn't make my list because hey, it reminds me of like childhood. Yeah, it's like it has, okay, so and, and it's just like I mean, yeah, it's it's cringeworthy, oh. but uh, you know, my 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 list is just like songs I absolutely can't stand to hear. I'm just like so sick of, or else I cringe when I hear them. It's got like something in it that just disgusts me or something. Now, when we first sat down this evening, I want to make this clear. My list, I went over ten first of all, which is not a big deal. We can yeah, we can break. But what I did was, and I found out later that I kind of cheated. I picked two bands that I don't want. I don't like anything by these two bands. Right. I well, don't see anything. But However, I, if we I, did that, our lists would be uh, the bands we hate the most. Okay, and I'll accept that. However, yeah, I we've am been gonna, arguing I'll about pick, this long before we went on the. I'll air. pick one song. We well, have an argument. Share your this. thoughts. I'll pick the one. I'll pick one song by each group. But I'm gonna let it be known when that group comes up that I don't like anything by that group. I will have, let that know. Did anybody like met, like write down or it got in mind like like honorable mention songs that didn't make your list that we can yeah. go around really quickly? Yeah. Without any explanation, just I, read. I just have to. Yeah. I have to. I, I didn't really. I have a shitload. <laughs> well, that's not. Then <laughs> there's no I'm point just, to I'm a list. Just, I'm just gonna. Uh, yeah. No, uh, I don't mention. No, no. I don't have. And so mine. I, I, I think. I think I'm my toes for that one. Okay. Mention. So my criteria, same thing. But what I did was I didn't say I, I can't listen to anything from this band because you everybody knows what mine are anyway. And then the other thing, it couldn't be a novelty song like Disco Duck. Or any of that other shit like that. That Happy he's like, like one of the, uh, I have none of those. You know, you know what I'm saying. You, how you have one of those? I have none of those. Yeah, <laughs> like because because everyone's just like, so oh, Agadu, Disco Duck. Yeah, yeah, all that crap. Every so, time it comes on at the Liberty thing. for Karaoke, I walk the fuck out. I'm done with Happy Birthday, man. I'm done with it. You probably <laughs> organized. A few happy I have. Birthdays, I've organized way too many. I sang fucking Happy Birthday to who? Heather? Like Marilyn Manson or Marilyn Monroe? Yeah, Marilyn, Marilyn Manson. Manson. Yeah. I sang it like Marilyn Monroe, <laughs> right? Happy Birthday, Mrs. President. I think I sang to her. So. So I've, I've orchestrated quite a few. So I'm done with Happy Birthday. Okay. <laughs> uh, I hate singing Happy Birthday though. Let's let's let the let's let the let the ladies start. All right. So let's go. Like go, I guess we'll go around, man. You're 12 o'clock. We'll just go like sh- sh- like this way. Okay. All, All right. right. By me. All so right. We'll do number 10. Okay. I'm Casey Casey. These are in. Tracy Kasem. Once we get towards the end, some of these are really like 
the utmost worst. Tracy Trasom. So yeah, Tracy Trasom. Tracy Trasom. Tracy Trasom. Disagree with some of these. So uh, Tracy okay. So <laughs> no, I don't know. One of these. Th- this <laughs> my, my, one of my songs in no particular order is uh, "Let Him In" by Wings, and um, it was kind of a toss up between two songs. What song? Let him in. Let him in. That's it. Oh, that's Somebody that's ringing it. the bell. <laughs> can't can't take it. Um, and uh, it's just one of those songs that my whole life I I didn't even know Paul McCartney was singing that song until <laughs> about ten years ago. So here's the thing: I never hear that song. Do you hear that song anymore? Yep. I haven't yeah. heard that song since I haven't mm. heard it in quite some time. Yeah, I haven't heard that since because I'm all o- I'm all over XM. Yeah. I'm all okay. over the friggin' yeah. dial. All right. Wings at the speed of sound. I listened to the album a couple months ago, so that that song's on there. So I know. Really? Yeah. Oh, wow. Do I didn't think you put anything from Wings on there. Little little little. I kind of disagree. I like that song. For a cup of little tea. Little tea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you're all hippie, like woohoo and shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, next, Pat. No, Mikey D is next, isn't he? Oh, Mikey. Oh, we'll go this way. Yeah. All right, number ten for me is Born to Be Wild. Um, it just it's like one of the most generic rock songs ever written, I think. I think if you took like a classroom full of people who don't like rock and roll or don't know much about rock and roll and you asked them to write a rock song, you know, just like like a connect the dots <laughs> type of like For, like uh, and just like 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 um include like like every cliche that's in true. rock in terms of chord structure and words and phrases, it, it would be um it would be born what, be what, wild. Is, what is it about that song that associates it with bikers? Like, Easy it, Rider. It, it, yeah, oh, yeah, I guess. Yeah. Okay. I, I mean, it's it's just, on the soundtrack. It's I, in I, the movie. Met, I, I know quite a few bikers, and they're not really huge fans of that song either. I, you know. <laughs> no. But isn't that, like, to use your word, dude, hasn't it been canonized as, like, an important song, Born to be Wild? It's, it's often called, like, the first heavy metal song. In my fact, heavy metal was, like, the, this is the first time heavy metal is used in a I song. I think too much importance point, is placed point, on it for some reason. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. But that's one of the reasons I don't like it. It's not that I don't like it. I'm just tired of it. It's just you, you know, could say you like, hate it. A band of mine used to cover it. I don't know if I hate it, any song. I, I just songs I'm sick of, man. That yeah, I dislike strongly. Dislike it. Yeah, I don't hate it though. Would you turn it off the radio like, if it came hate, on? Hate comes like like closer to the you know, like not not number ten, closer to the the end of the list. Yeah, but um. Do I turn it off? I turn it off if I hear it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's, and then, that's and then really like the, a, a band that's that really I love. Good. Good criteria. A band that I love. You can't even cult. sit two we minutes into. And like when in, in the cult, like it's just like the most bland, boring remake. There's not much to the song. And there's to begin nothing with, worse. Right? Like the, there's nothing worse yeah. than a song that yeah. you don't like when a band covers it, and it's like either the same or that's worse. one of my honorable mentions. And it's an artist that you like that covers that song. Mm-hmm. And that's happened more than once. Mm-hmm. We got for a stick. All right, born to, I'm born to be mild. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna have mine. Go, I'm, they're gonna get worse as they go. So the few, that, the first few that I start with, might be likable songs. Just I got a thing for them. There's oh. no, there's no, ra- there's no rational criteria behind this. It's just feelings we have about songs, right? I mean, it, it, there's nothing specific we can say about these songs. Why we hate them, you know? They could give you douche chills. Uh, they could <laughs> m- remind you of a, yeah. you know. A past disastrous relationship. They could just they grind at you, you or if you've lake. heard it so many times. They could remind you being yeah. at the lake and you ran out of beer and your car battery died and you had to walk six miles to get a six get pack of beer. Sorry, I said douche what, chills. Maybe that's, man, maybe that's what it is. Uh, this last song, I just realized that the other day I was picking up my prescriptions over at the pharmacy over there, and this tune came on the radio, and I cringed, and I, oh, yeah, that has to go on my list for the show. I realized I hate the song uh, <laughs> Cecilia by Simon and Garfunkel. Mm-hmm. Cecilia, oh, people, yeah. you break out. Uh, really, really annoying. Yeah. Decline singing it in Ah, uh, it could be annoying. I, I don't can see it like annoying. it, man. Well, yeah. we were just throwing up songs that we might sing, but. See what sticks. Yeah, right. I want you to sing that? Yeah. Don't like it. Okay, since I was not allowed to say entire bands, here's the here's that. the rub. I don't <laughs> even know the name of the song by this band. Right. Take a look at my girlfriend. She's Super the other. Tramp. Super Tramp's Tramp. a band. Yeah. I don't know the name of the yeah. song. The because only I, one I got. Yeah, okay. oh my God. I hate <laughs> that band so <laughs> fucking much. <laughs> right off the rails. <laughs> I don't fucking care if they... I, <laughs> Super Tramp building could burn to the fucking ground with everybody in the building on fire yelling, ah, take a look at my girlfriend. The saxophone blasting the whole fucking thing. And I would stand outside sipping a Wawa coffee and laughing. 
I can't stand that fucking. I wasn't allowed to say the band. I don't even know the name of the song. What was it? Well, you now you got it. It's called, Breakfast it's, at Tiffany. It's what called is? Breakfast in America by Breakfast Super in Trump. America by Super You know Trump. that meme with the little girl in the corner and she's like looking at you with those evil yeah. eyes and the house is burning and, yeah, behind yeah, her? Yeah, that's me. That's how I. Yeah, that's, that's exactly you. how you should envision that's me. That's you with the Super Trump. The Super Trump building at their world headquarters, like the Justice fucking League. <laughs> I didn't even know the name of the fucking song. What's so a, I didn't even put thought into it because the second I hear a super, well, well, we got Super Tramp coming up on the queue. <laughs> I'd rather crash my car into a fucking telephone that's pole. All, it, it, I think it's just that maniacal yeah. oh. you know, edge to it. And I love I got, songs with saxophone. I love the saxophone. I was wondering what it could have possibly been because you hinted at it last week. Oh, uh, it it yeah. makes sense. It makes sense that some of the people that are going to hate that. Yeah. Oh, it does. Yep, yep. <laughs> I get it. I, 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 I almost dislike some fans, but I get got, that. I almost got stick on board here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. So I don't dislike him, but we come around to the top again, right. and we now go I'm, to I'm, number nine. I'm totally all over the place. Tracy, so, trace him. Yeah. So you look. You look. I stop looking. Um, I'm more paranoid. So this is just based on the fact that this person. Was a great songwriter, great musician, amazing. Came from. I just don't even know where the song came from. It's just so awful, and I hate to say this because I love the man. I just called to say I love you, <laughs> Stevie Wonder. <laughs> oh, Stevie it's Wonder. awful. Whenever I hear that song, it's just it, it makes you want to jump off. It makes me want to jump off the fucking Super Tramp building. <laughs> Meanwhile, at the Super Tramp building. It makes building. me want to dive off the Super Tramp building. I was thinking the other day, they did that on the Cosby show. Remember, he was actually appeared on the show. And yes. And he was saying it. He's like, no New Year's Day. And he's like, no yeah. New Year's Day. The Huxley will be saying it. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> My favorite Stevie Wonder moment is Saturday Night Live when Eddie oh. Murphy was still on it. Oh, yeah. And he was imitating Stevie Wonder and uh, Joe Piscopo was doing whatever. Uh, they, were, they were doing a Canon commercial. He's like, I so am easy, black even I can use it. And he reaches out for the lens. It's I am hurts. black and you, you are white. white. You're blind as a bat and I, I have, have sight. sight. <laughs> oh, Mikey, D, Mikey D, what do you got? Uh, number nine. Um, more than words. Extreme. Oh, that was, um, oh. When I first heard this song, I thought Air Supply had a reunion. <laughs> um, bon Jovi aside, the template for like hair bands doing ballads in the 80s was they still use electric guitars, but as we cross over into the 90s, we're talking 91, porno graffiti comes out. Uh, acoustic guitars were now acceptable without being accused of being a wimp. But this was, I think, by far the wimpiest song uh, I had heard up to that up until hinder wrote lips of an angel like the just the like and and metalheads loved it for some reason for some reason metalheads like loved it too. and and it's like no matter oh, how hated. wimpy or hard you got in terms of like you could like if you were a poison fan or a slayer fan metalheads loved it even though like it you know like it, it caused your dick to shrivel up to the size of an acorn <laughs> i think that's nuno though because nuno's a really good guitar part nuno's I mean, awesome. the interesting thing about this is that i was djing then and that record was returned, and this was Hal and Sandorama, where I used to get a lot of my stuff from, told me that more people brought that record back because they bought it for that song, and the rest of that record is nothing like that song oh, at yeah. all. It's it's actually yeah. pretty good, and so Hal That's was like, we're bringing this fucking right? record back yeah. like crazy. Yeah. Pornography. Yeah, yeah, pornography. Get the no, funk out is on that. It's really like good. The, the black sheep of their band. Yeah. You know, and it was huge, and people loved it, and it was like, I, I don't know. That, that could have been the, the, the beginning I, I of really the end for them, too. air supply or something. I was like, Next. Stick. What do you got, Stick? Makes sense. Makes per- Everything makes perfect sense. Uh, it's pretty cool. <laughs> mine are not in the rock and roll genre, and they're going way back for me. But uh, it took me a while to develop some uh, sensitivity when it came to like certain types of music. I was Everything was gay. And it was really <laughs> tough, you know, and any kind of love song, you're gay. You know, yeah, and it's, it's gay. That's a term we used to, and, uh, and, uh, like, a term we yeah, used to like, throw around a lot more than because we're 70s kids. You can't really throw that term around with anymore. That, with, with that, yeah. But uh, you understand the sentiment, man, you know? Okay. Like, it's the same reason I wouldn't play with any female action figures when I was a kid. I don't know why, man. I didn't, my Star Wars figures, I wouldn't play with no Princess Leia. It was just a weird thing with me. Fucking Han, yeah, bro. So I, I don't know, man. I was, uh, so any kind of like ro- really romantic songs, uh, you know, weep, weepily romantic, uh, creeped me out when I was young to the point of absolute hatred. And one of them was... Uh, <laughs> You light up my life <laughs> to carry on. You light up my day. Feel 
uh, real popular, like in 76 or something. You guys remember? I don't even yeah, care I about that hated. song. Fucking hated that motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, it creeped me out. That was the number one song for 10 weeks. It held the record for a long time. Right? Man, from October 77 through December 77. Nice. That's my little factoid. I'm, I'm obviously into music at the time, like Skyrockets and Front Flight. I love that shit. Afternoon yeah, Delight. Oh, my God. Oh. Yeah. Pew. A, one more. I think that there's, Afternoon there's Delight would come. I got two for the price of one in this category. Oh, it's cheap. Yeah, man. you get that song. And another one that I, same kind of feeling, it freaked me out, was uh, <laughs> I'm never going to let you go. I'm going to oh. hold you in my arms. Peebo Bryson. Peebo Bryson. And is, is that Peebo? It's Peebo and some chick. <laughs> That's the roller. That's that's the roller skating genius song. Gonna hold your body close to mine. From this day on, we're gonna stay together. I was young. Uh, crawl, it's I'm, awful. I'm beginning to see. It's an awful song. I'm beginning to see some some common threads in mine because the next one I have. It's the voice. I think it's the vocal. Mm-hmm. It, but yes. Fly to the Angels by Slaughter. Uh-huh. If I hear that fucking whining guy, you think it's a girl singing that the way he has his, his testicles are in his fucking throat. And he can sing, though. He, he can, can sing. He can. But that fucking song. Because there's a couple of songs on that album that aren't bad. And I, I liked some of that slushy yeah. metal. I absolutely did. But Fly to the Angels, when I hear that fucking... I'm like, oh, my God. It's a fucking I have to agree with that. Fly to the Angels? Fly, fly to the angels. Fly to the angels. <coughs> I can't even attempt to do it. I'll you gotta to, look. Yeah, you're you gonna have to look YouTube that one up. It. YouTube. <laughs> that one. I'm writing uh, them down all over the place. You're writing them down. Yeah. <laughs> so are we? We come around to? Did you? I did. Fly to the angels. Okay. So we're at number Slaughter. eight. And come on, Tracy. Right, yeah. Tracy. 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 I'm gonna take it off. To yeah, another, to, I'm gonna go into I don't another know, that place. That kind of podcast. Going to another place. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna hit it right now because this is probably I'll throw it up my my most hated song. Wait, ever. wait, wait, wait! You're gonna go to number oh, you one. Know, oh, you, you want us to gradually kind of go? Mine are in no order. Yeah. Oh, Mine right, are in right, no right, particular yeah. order whatsoever. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna roll my turn and we, we should have kept it off the list because I know we're all gonna agree on it, but it's we built this city. Okay. So on my list. Okay. Is, is it on yours? No. Not because you like it. No, I don't like that band enough to, for them to even become. It's like Super oh, Tramp. I don't even. That was I that was Jeff, about, okay. that's Whatever. It's, I can't. Yeah, I just can't. Where, where do you go uh, to listen to that song? I didn't like it when it was Jersey popular, 101. and that song was number one. A lot of these songs. A lot. Yeah, I believe it. A lot of these songs I picked were actually number one hits. I mean, pop music was a De- diabolical Debbie Boone. Year, man. I'm sorry, I keep coughing like that. You guys have to deal with yeah. Mike, cold Mike's cold got some editing to do. Nah, that's that's gonna be tough to edit out. So I apologize. <laughs> My editing advance. is getting less and less, and is getting less. I'm it's just, more raw yeah. and fun than live. I, I don't even care anymore. Come on, Mike D. What do you got for number eight? Number eight. Can't you see? Yeah, I, I'm good. Mar- Marshall Tucker Band. I'm good, but not hearing that ever again. Every fucking dive bar in existence, man, with a line of pickup trucks in the parking lot, has that song playing on the jukebox when you walk in. You know those places where you walk in and everybody sitting on a stool all turns their head at the same time to see who just walked in? Yep. Like those type of places. And Can't You See is always playing. And then whenever there's a band playing there, it's a band full of old farts all playing Can't You See. You know. I was asked what that woman? three times to do I that at karaoke. I don't know what accent, uh, what accent that is, man. Is that a southern accent? They're country. They're, they're like southern rock country. Tucker? Yeah, southern rock. Yeah. It's an interesting pronunciation, man. All right. I agree with you completely about that, dude. I, yeah, I'm uh, done with I that don't song. like that. I agree with you. <laughs> I don't like that. No, no, I didn't. Do I? I'm not. <laughs> I'm completely in agreement with that pick. We don't know what that woman's been doing to you. Yeah. Oh God. No. 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 I agree with you. You're gonna catch a freight train down to the station because you would. Where else would you catch? That would have almost made my list. Yeah. How how funny is we all? You know, we. I I love Marshall Tucker Band. So, um, I can. But I can understand why. Marshall Tucker Band. You listen to Marshall Tucker? Well, I was a flute player for a long time, so there wasn't a lot of flute and rock. Except Jeff uh, Tall, Marshall the, Tucker Band. I don't pretend I know that there's flute in Marshall Tucker because I don't. Yeah. But, uh, absolutely. Okay. Sure there is. I, I like flute. People hate right on the, the flute. I like note. the flute. The opening note of the song is flute. Molly Hatchet and like all those. There was like a whole I'm bunch a pro of pro flute guy. Right. Kind of oh, like never man. I like Molly Hatchet. Flirting with disaster. Yeah, I can't tell those bands apart either. Right there. 
What you got, Stick? Uh, I'm going to get this one over with because I'm not that happy with this one, but it, it's, it's one song <laughs> that annoys me, man. I'm not happy with anything. Uh, yeah. But uh, it's a patriotic song. Proud to be an American. Oh, There's a place yeah. I'd rather. Where at least yep. I know I'm free. I'm gone yeah. to stand up. I, I hate that song. Oh. I, I know that is like the 9-11 what, what's song. What's it called? Proud to be an the, American. I think by like yeah. Lee Greenwood. <laughs> God bless. I think it's called God bless the USA. I think. No. Yeah. Now <laughs> Because I want to stand up. up. And the music stops. And this real mousy little kid sound. No one's projecting. Stand up. Like over, over for days and days. This is really bad. Uh, I love America. I can't stand that song. <laughs> yeah, it's so awful. It it's America. awful. Nothing to do with America. <laughs> My next song Number is Pat. comes from a band that I have huge, huge love for. Love the group. Talked about their debut record in the last show. Yep. Ooh. I cannot stand the song Jump by Van Halen. Ah. I'm, I'm tired of it. I'm yeah. tired of it. There's so many better Van Halen songs. You, you can play anything else off of 1984, Q104. I'm talking to you, local uh, classic rock station. I'm just sick of that song. It, it, it's, on the radio, you'll turn it I do. I do. It, it's, I don't have it in my iPod. I, I just, you know, and I have the album. I just, I'm done with mm-hmm. Jump, man. Done mm-hmm. with Jump. Give me any other Van Halen song. I don't think there's any other Van Halen song I would turn off because you guys know both. And, and Tracy, you know, because you listen all, all the time. I, I love that group. I talk yeah. about Van Halen every chance I can. Back I'm, kind of in, I'm indifferent to Jump. It doesn't, I mean, it's it's overplayed, but it doesn't bother me. I don't yeah. like it. I don't dislike it. It's, it's just there. It, it's, I'm I have it. to say, that song really does. I, I with agree it. with I, most of I never of listen these. to it. If it comes on, I mean, I turn it off instantly. It's you know. Like, I didn't even think. I didn't even think about that song. It would have made my list. It <laughs> might have made my list. Seriously. Um. So, some of mine are like we're like kind of more like modern stuff. So my stuff, my stuff is like 60s, 70s. Right. So anybody who is around our age and has appreciation of the Beatles, um, I cannot stand Revolution Nine at the end of the White Album. Um, not it, it's the most. If you l- just listen to it again, it's oh, just a I bunch of. Do you know where that song? Listen, this was a John and Yoko collabo right? that screw ruined one of the greatest albums. Ever, it's still one of the greatest albums ever printed, but it, Yoko, that bitch, you got to get in on everything, and that's a John and Yoko collaboration of them just slamming together some instrumental stuff, some weird Yoko stuff, and it's it's the longest Beatles song ever recorded, and it's the freaking worst. You can hear Yoko all in it, and then that, that number nine, number nine. It, that's a fucking tape. I said the F word. That's a tape. Yeah, okay. Right. You take the F word. That's it. No filter. You know where that came from? A tape that John Lennon found when he was walking. It was just some batshit crazy guy going, number nine, number nine. That became like the thing of the time, I think. Like it's some kind of celebration at LSD, and I think uh, (laughs) I don't like it either. I mean, you listen to it once as as twice for a novelty. uh, Like no one listens to it. Let's face it. Mm -hmm. You're skipping that, Mm -hmm. you know. But bands started to do that kind of shit. Like Jefferson Airplane had had, has one of those too. Like a 20 Uh, minute long, yeah. People out, you're tripping. Yeah, you know what? If I was if I was tripping, looking back, it doesn't age well. That shit. No, a lot of bands did it. It was the car crash song that was one of the clues that Paul was dead. So yeah. there's a car crash if you play it backwards. You know, it's like it just it's, it's awful as it is, and to let alone put it on that album, Yoke. That's when Yoke goes start to get a feelers on to the good music. You know, I tell you what, in the bad rap the song gets, and you know, like rightly so. Uh, if if the Velvet Underground had made that song, there would be critics that would call it a masterpiece. Ah, you know? uh, like yeah, like Sister Ray. And the gift No but it, it, You know what When you know no, that you, it, well, you know it was Yoko Ono You know there was no way. talent to it But anyway So that was my other You know that song just It's like Bubble gum Stuck on your ruby slippers yeah. You know It's like yeah. You just You just want to Just you, That's Yeah You are You are Alright so yeah. who's Who's was that That was me was you Tracy Tracy Alright my My number seven is Paradise City um, Yes Not too much to say about this It just makes me cringe um, It's probably the, the Guns N' Roses song that most, that where Axel most annoys me, you know. 
where he just most gets on my nerves. So I couldn't pick a song from Gun N' Roses, Guns oh, N' Roses, I, I for one. reasons I that one that we are prohibited for. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I realized uh, how much uh, Guns N' Roses uh, bothers you, man. I don't think I, uh, <laughs> <laughs> they really don't bother me a whole lot, but Paradise City is just, I cringe. Yeah, I can't listen to yeah, it. yeah, yeah. Well, this next one, you know I don't like this one, bro. I think I've told you about this one. I think it's poorly crafted, man. Because I, I wrote this song a couple times and crumpled it up. <laughs> and I remember the first time I heard Lenny Kravitz, I want to get away, I want to fly away. <laughs> I was like, wow, that song is fucking lame. I was like, I got, how many times I sat down at pen and paper, I want to write a song. Like, I, I want to get away. I want to fly away. There's socks and I crumpled up. <laughs> I did that ten times. It's the shittiest shit. And it became like... A huge song. He just validated why I should believe him. And <laughs> totally, totally, <laughs> seriously, you made a good argument. In the corner of the room, there's a lot of crumbled up paper for you people who cannot visually see this. <laughs> yeah, it is so fucking lame. <laughs> Mine is going back to um, a very great, I mean, the, the, you know, classic rock, you love him or you hate him. But it's by the doors, man. And I'm really tired of Light My Fire. Ooh, I thought I, you were gonna I, say "Touch I, Me" because yeah. no, that one crept no. into my brain. But light my fire, I change it, man. And, and it's mm-hmm. it was tough to either do that one or um, "Hello, I Love You" because they're both "Hello, I Love yeah. You" is close, yeah, you know. Man. And it's there's so much better music by that man. And again, that's why I listen to shit on my own because I, I don't have to listen to the radio. But unless if, if I'm trapped in somebody's yeah. car and I have to listen to their radio, at least it's on a rock station. But it seems like it. It seems like it fucking twelve. Twelve eighteen every fucking day, like clockwork. Set your fucking watch to it. Q one hundred four plays yeah, "Light My yeah, Fire." Yeah. I I have That's like a very get. low tolerance, Q104. man, for like the Doors hits. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm strictly like I want to hear Peace Frog and Blue Sunday yeah, and the, the Spy <laughs> and stuff like that. You know, my eyes have seen. I can't deal with "Hello, I Love You" or "Touch Me" or any, especially stuff off the Soft Parade, man. So those are, I, I like those, man. I don't know why I didn't think about those, but. Mm-hmm. I'm just I'm fed up with it. Yeah. I'm a huge Doors fan. I support the probably doors. because I just avoid those songs, you know. Tracy, you trace them. Oh, I number got no- six. Number six. And the countdown continues. Yeah, to- totally obscure. This one, I'm just I'm just going to throw there because it's all it's a song. If you've heard, if you hear it, you have to hate it. It's that bad of a song on that great of an album again. Oh, it's no. like, it's really bad. It's really bad. And I know you know it, and I know you know it. I don't know if you know it. It's on, I'll even let you guess it. All right. I like this. All right. It's on the Police's album, Synchronicity. Mother? Yes! <laughs> the, the, I can't stand that's the that Andy song. Summers song yeah, oh, the, uh, Andy yeah. Summers. Andy Summers, man. man. Telephone it? is ringing. It's on my, my mother on the phone. Really? <laughs> the phone is ringing. Oh, you're, well, you're gonna have to listen to it. Every girl I go out with <laughs> becomes my mother in the end. It's true. He wrote this song about his mother. Sting liked it and go, yeah, let's fling it on there. I think I sold my synchronicity back to the store like an idiot, man. A couple of years, you know, ten years more. You, I don't know. I, don't I, I didn't even. Anymore. I doubt that even exists on YouTube, even off someone's TV. <laughs> oh, that, <we> <laughs> is how bad that. it is. But I, I, I know. I thought. I really thought that you would remember it. You don't know, right? I don't. You're not a big. I don't know that album. Okay. okay. Police album, but that one. Okay. All right. Me, me, else is a hit on that album. I was holding exactly. the microphone because mo- she said "Ghost in the Machine." I was, was going to hand monster it. That record was a monster. I love the police. Oh, I love the. I love the police. That was. Yeah. That song. Fuck the police. Wrong police. Don't say I that like, on the air. I like the musicians, police. Don't say what on the air. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck the police. <laughs> That's yeah. a great rap we record, at? man. We're not talking about... It. Wait, what did I miss? <laughs> Pat and I are going to get into a slap fest. NWA, we're going to get what into a slap your? fest. Oh, uh, is it my... I'm up? <laughs> NWA. Is it my turn? Yes. What was that game we played with the... A couple of weeks ago, or a month ago, or two months ago. Spin bottle? No, we played some game where, like, we were playing with cards around a table and. Oh, meme! What's your meme? What's the meme? Remember oh, okay, that? yeah, the yeah. The card game, yeah, with the pictures. Mm-hmm. I feel like we're playing a game. Is it my turn? <laughs> <laughs> All right, my number six is Wild Thing. Um, yeah. My vote for, for most boring song ever. Uh, it takes it, it makes three minutes seem like three days. 
uh, is another one of those connect the dot songs where uh, if you had to construct like a um, like it, like you know when you go into a furniture store, All right, And I'm talking like the the Trogs, Jimi Hendrix, Sam Kinison. Not even Hendrix could make this go into a good song. Oh, like even, even Hendrix made it boring. <laughs> In fact, I think Hendrix actually made the more boring version. Right. Hendrix was most boring. But if you go if you go into a furniture store, okay, and you want to like buy a bedroom set or like a living room set, okay, you want to you're looking at like you're looking at a table and like like a dresser and there's a bed. And then like, and there's some shelves, and on the shelf there's like a fake plant, and there's like a fake book. <laughs> That's wild thing. A fake photo it, like, of like, a family. Like, it's like they have to make like a fake song. Yeah. That's wild thing. It has to be bad if Sam Kinison can yeah. cover it. <laughs> oh yeah, that. that oh that my Kinison god. Version is a <laughs> That's really fucking bad. That's another good call. I agree with. I I could agree I with. I think I've agreed with almost every song. <clears throat> All right. Number six, Stickman. As we continue hating on people that are more talented than we are. <laughs> what make what more is? Money. <laughs> I make a lot more money than us. I have a swig. <laughs> Someone tell me, what's likable about all my life? You might know this one too, dude. You know I've said this to you. What's likable about the song Aqualung by Jethro Tull? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> Did I? Tracy just really? put the brakes on. Oh my god! <laughs> well, we disagree. I'm sorry. But Listen, we you pushed to running down. It's an ugly song, and it doesn't groove. It has no. You can't it, groove to it. It's well, that was what Jethro Tull was. It was kind of like nasty music about nasty people oh, doing no. nasty things. I don't know. What do you guys think, man? It was like proto metal. I, I, di- I disagree with I like that song. I yeah. Like that song. I, I think did. this may be the first disagreement. Yeah. From all around the table, too, Tom. Mm. Wow. Really? With his head. Yeah. Dilly, dilly. In, in fact, I'm trying. I'm going to get tickets to the um, concert in September. Yes, we're going to see Jeff Rachel. No, we're going to see Jackson Brown. Yeah, but I'm going to get a ticket. To okay. That. Jackson Brown? Yeah. Yeah, really? That's my birthday present for Mikey. Where, oh, really? Oh, cool. man. The Beacon. Really? Mm-hmm. Oh, nice. Nice. Good. Trying to see bands that we may never see again. <laughs> that might that. somebody might die. All right, Mike, I'm gonna one you. Uh, I'm gonna one up you on the Guns and Roses front. Uh-oh. Sweet child of mine. Yeah, nah, done. Equally fucking suck. Done, done. That's another fucking temple or shrine or yeah. building you can burn down. Whatever. Yeah. And hopefully, fucking Axel's trying to fucking be the fire hide. Yeah. <laughs> You know what saved that song for me? Is like Cheryl I said, like Crow. if there was like any sort of if there was any sort of redeeming quality in the song, and he, and, and I like the guitar solo. I always thought the guitar solo in the middle, like it's if it's, if it's like thirty seconds of the song, I can stand. That's it. So that kind of oh. went with Paradise. Done. Good call though. Hmm. Look at that. Yep. Look at that. Open season on fuck, fuck Axl Rose. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hmm. <laughs> you heard it here. For the millionth time, folks. <laughs> Alright, so we oh. come around to now Tracy. Back to Tracy. Tracy. Right. Tracy. <clears throat> and the countdown continues. Number five. five. Beep, beep, beep. Um, this one it was hard. There's a couple of songs, and I gotta sh- give a shout out to uh, Jen Lee because her song convinced me that I hated my song more. <laughs> and <laughs> love you, Jen. And and I'm gonna give them both just because they're almost a, they could be the exact same song, they're equally s- suck. Okay. There okay. are no rules. So it's first rule of Fight Club. I, 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 it, they're two Billy Joel songs. Whoa. Ah. We even... didn't start the fire. Was okay. Jen's. Okay. All right. But I got a yeah. one up. It's Uptown Girl. I Ooh. cannot stand that song. I, I, I want to agree with Uptown Girl. I, I I I still like that song. And when we saw them, that place erupted when he did that. Yeah, because that, those were all the people who who buy who bought what the best of Billy Joel album. We didn't start the fire. I completely and agree with. I don't care if I ever hear that fucking thing again. Chicken chom, ding dong, ding ding The fuck is he singing? The languages he's singing in. There were two Billy Joel songs that didn't make my list, but were close. That would be in my top twenty. You know, one is the Entertainer. Mm. Yeah, I got the guy. I, I can live without that. And the other is like the ultimate and drunk I, fuck uh, song, Piano Man. And that one, da, 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 I love yeah. that song. I know you're hating me now. No, I'm, I'm not. not. I, 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 my, I, I, have, I don't have a and poker the face. Catcher in no, the rye. What the fuck did my name? Fuck out of here with that fucking song. All right, my number five. <laughs> fuck 
fucking we didn't start the fire. Even the video fucking <laughs> aggravated me, man. Yeah, like the fucking video is like something happened to his neck in that video because his neck is like his like his body's all like out of yeah. shape and he's like sitting at the table. Jacob, like, run straight, but his away! Run up the rock with the like, 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 took an iron and just went. <laughs> and they caught the fucking and they caught it right he's at the stroking out and like they, and they airbrushed the iron out. And he just like left the indentation in his neck. He's yeah, but Uptown Girl is is. But, uh, I liked Uptown Girl. I like that Innocent Man Uptown album. Girl. People like that that swing. You know what I'm talking it, about? Like, like it just you, reminds me of just. The I do. The, know what I, mean. I, <laughs> yeah. It just reminds me of everything I hated about the 80s. Mm. Yeah. That th- it's what it does. All right, my number five is Moni Moni. <laughs> Probably mm-hmm. one of the most overplayed songs ever. Uh, every fucking wedding, every friggin' work Christmas party, every, you know, uh, it's again one of those connect the dot songs. Yeah. Go back to that classroom full of people. All right, if you took a classroom full of people, like, you know, like people that you meet, where like you know, like all of us, music is like the center of our lives. It's like all we, it's like we could talk about it for hours. That's why we have the show. But there are people that you meet, like yeah, I like music. I I yeah, I, I like the oh, Rolling honey, Stones. Honey. I like I like Rolling Stones. Well, what song do you like from the Rolling Stones? What's that one? Oh. <laughs> you can start me up. You know, like like, people, like you, we all know people like that, man. Like, oh, We're I right. love the Beatles. Well, what do you, what's your five favorite Beatles songs? And they can't name like three. Like, oh, the one when they were on the all stage. Of those people and... love Moni Moni because when you ask them what songs they like, oh, I like Moni Moni. I like that song. Get laid, get fucked. <laughs> Fucking those, Billy Idol's version. Those are the ones. Music yeah, for people yeah. who don't like music. Yeah, that's good. good. That's actually brilliant, dude. Everything you said is totally right on the fucking money. <laughs> on the money, oh. money. But um, but. But uh, I completely agree. Because uh, we grew up with the Billy Idol version of that, and that's one of Billy Idol's worst. I think Tommy moments. James, man. Tommy yeah. James and the Shondells. But yeah, I love I, I, I love I love Tommy James, James and the Shadows. Okay. Okay. And that black and white video of him really singing that when he's fucking doing like that funky chicken dance or some shit in a long coat. I'm like, what the fuck is this guy on? <laughs> it's like he's got a popsicle stick in his ass and he's fucking wiggling on it. I think you said we all know some people that are like that. Like, ah, oh, what's that one Rolling Stone song? Like, uh, I think most people are like that. Don't you guys find we take for granted how much that, that we like? Most people don't know shit about music. Most people really don't know mm-hmm. nothing about music. True. And, and don't you find yourself mm-hmm. assuming that they do sometimes? Like mm-hmm. people don't know the Beatles are British, for instance. Oh, they're from America. Like there are people like a lot of people. Most, I think, most don't know squat. <laughs> we, we take it for granted. Yo, Whippers you know. never don't know squat. Did know yeah. squat. When I was your it's age, I knew squat. It's just something we decide to pay attention to. But uh, hit it. No, my sticks right, so stick oh, up. Oh, five. it's stick. All right. Number. I like your picks tonight. Like, uh, maybe you know about this one too. Uh, this is a song by the sweet the uh, my cosmic connect the dots song. Song that's been done by a lot of different bands. Uh, the ballroom blitz. I think is an annoying song. And the music was soothing, and the man was driving. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that, yeah, but that wasn't yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sweet wasn't the one like that That's Crocus's version That's think, Crocus's right? version <laughs> Sweet's version it, it's, it's, kinda, it's not a great song I, I like Sweet, sweet I like a lot, a lot. I like that song uh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah it's good Ballroom blitz it is um, I grew up with the Crocus one so <laughs> Crocus Hey Crocus starts screaming in the night And I'll always support them for that because that's a great song i might i might catch flack for this one <laughs> but uh walk on the wild side by lou reed fuck that song yeah. he's not even singing it it's like you and i are having a, qu- a conversation that's, that's all of his songs it's, i was looking for soul food in a place to eat yeah. what did Ru- said, said, what hey, did babe, lou reed ever sing <laughs> that's all i said yeah. hey babe yeah. take a walk on the wild side and then there's like some chicks in the background just going do do do, do. <laughs> another song with saxophone that i fucking can't stand Fuck Lou Reed it too. How's that? <laughs> it was like his only hit. How, fuck him and no, Sweet Jane yeah. and fucking everything else that Lou Reed ever fucking sang in his entire life. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh god. Sweet Jane. This is a big under, underground. Sweet Jane bores the fuck out of me. I'll say that. Big vel- like, big velvet under. I can't mm. stand Lou Reed. Oh my god. I really can't stand him but either. But I can see that. I can see how Lou Reed would be the kind of guy who would see. He, he's got this thing about it that people would not understand. Talking, talking, I love this guy. What the know fuck that. was that? <laughs> he's fucking talking about NEW, Scott Muni, at WNEW in New York, for those who don't know. 
used to have this DJ Scott Muni, and, and this guy was like world renowned. I mean, from like yeah. AM radio, Scott. So it talked like this. He was a big Beatles fan. Scott and the Beatles, right? right? So he always thought that that song was about him when he was fucking singing that fine, fine music, whatever the fucking Lou, Lou <laughs> Reed was saying. Fuck him. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck Scott Muni too. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go on a list. I did too. I did like Scott Muni. You're sticking up for Scott Muni and not Lou Reed. He was in the production, man. Did he? Yeah. I didn't know that. Scott's the one that offended you. You know what song he really liked that I liked from back in the day? Scott Muni. He always liked. Um, I don't remember who sang it. Who sang the the Australian band? Beds are burning. Midnight Oil. Midnight Oil. He loved that group. He really enjoyed that group. I love that album when it came. Yeah, out. yeah. So did I. It was a really good record when it came out. We were just talking about that the other day. We were driving to the fucking Priest Ram It Down concert, cranking Diesel and Dust from Midnight Oil, <laughs> summer of 1988. I was like, what's wrong with this picture? We were the only ones doing that. <laughs> cool. And the countdown continues. So Tracy, special. Tracy. Um, I want to... St- <laughs> we're at number four. <laughs> number four. <laughs> just just to, oh. to say what Pat said. Fuck Harry Chapin. I can't stand that fucking guy. I hated Ooh, him. So wow. I, I, I can't... There's nothing about this man that is good. He it's this every song makes list. me want to s- stab my fucking eyes out. It, he's just, oh, wow. he's just, I can't. Which song though? Cats in the Cradle. Cats in the Cradle. Huh? Yeah, it, it almost made my list. That fucking song uh, is so bad. It's just, you know what? Here's where I, 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 I want, I want to punch him in the face mm. and tell him you didn't know who your father was for the first ten years of your life, and and you you whiny prick bastard. He was working. The man was working. That's why you didn't see him. He didn't have a hoe. He, he, yeah, he, he, yeah. My dad had too much, did, too much work to do to spend time with me. So Lou Reed and Harry Chapin, God rest both of your souls. Then fuck, fuck him. You. It was like Pearl Jam before Pearl Jam, man. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> I do like Harry Chapin, but I don't know about man, that. you put the word "man in the moon," little boy blue. Oh, I just want to. <laughs> little boy blue. I, I just want to. I want to punch him. All right. Little boy blue, he needed the money. Oh, <laughs> my boy was just like me. Cause your kid turned around to be a shit too. I hate that song. Argue with me on that one. No argument. All right, number four. Good. Damn it. <laughs> number four. My number four is uh, "Bittersweet Symphony." By oh, the, yeah. the Verve, I guess. Uh, <laughs> I can't stand <laughs> mid to late nineties <laughs> Britpop. Mm. And there's there's a band that I can't stand, um, Oasis. But uh, nothing that they did that I know annoys me more than uh, Bittersweet. Bittersweet Symphony. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I was just in a bad. I mean, I kind of know I was in a bad place in life at the time. Maybe it's just bad memories. Anything nineteen ninety eight related, man. I, another one was Iris, the Goo Goo Dolls. That almost made yep. my list, but I was like, you know what? Oh, uh, That's a band uh, that could go it's take just, a fucking fly. I, I, fuck I just too. feel yeah. icky and creeped out when I hear that song. Goo Goo Dolls. Ugh. Goo Goo Dolls. It's a bitter sweet. Oh, 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 oh. I thought you liked that song. I thought you did. I'm wrong. I dislike. I strongly dislike that song. You know what the funny thing is? Where it talks about Marilyn. When Manson I heard that song and I didn't know. When I heard that song, I didn't know who sung it. Who wrote it? Anything? I thought it was U two. Think about that. It could it could very well be a U two song. You can hear U two's like doing that. Like it's actually like it just I yeah. I'm like this is so U two. I I hated it because I thought it was U two first, and then I hate it even more. <laughs> and that little orchestration thing with the strings, <laughs> like that's like there was like this like, uh, Andrew, you know, the Stones manager, Andrew Lou Goldham. Like they did. Uh, there was like a symphonic thing with the Stones version of the last time right. years and years ago and that's what that where that thing came from right you taught me that yeah all right so dick you're at number four i think four. Or five. yeah mine i'm gonna make quick and i kind of you know since i was one short i kind of came up with it but i realized and this goes right with your don mclean song tracy put it in the right in the same package am i the only one that said american pie by don mclean can go I, fuck I, off at I this point that song really that i do my, i really do my, Really? I honestly, I can Kevin's sit here at this table and honestly tell you that I can still listen to that song. A lot and of people, a lot of people said that on the on my page. I didn't, I should have posted it, it on the Rock Under Fire like, page. Like Mikey D said, it reminds me of a specific place, a specific time. Mm-hmm. Um, I, know, I had it on eight track. You know, my dad was a was a fucking drunk and and just gone. And I, yeah. you know, it, was, it reminds me of my family, me, my mom, my, my boy was just like <laughs> me. But American Pie <laughs> just, has it just takes me to a spot. Yeah, yeah, it just takes me to a spot. 
I get, I, I completely get, get where get you're coming from with it, though, because it's overplayed a lot. Okay. Live it out at this point. Die a happy man. Another one by a group that I absolutely fucking love. And, you know, when we had Mike Surjak on, we, we talked about favorite 90s band. Mm. And I said Pearl Jam inches out Soundgarden for me. Just, I mean, barely. Hair. Mm. Um, alive. I don't care if I ever hear that fucking song again. And yeah. that's what broke them. But I'm just, yeah, it's a big song. I'm just so sick of the song. I, I really don't want to fucking. I don't. It's not on my phone. I have, that's why I said like it was like Pearl Jam before Pearl Jam, like Cats in the Cradle, yeah, Alive. I, I, you know, I just. Oh, you watch your daddy. I, I have every fucking Pearl Jam. Who's your daddy? On my iPad, but I don't. I, I, that song, fuck that. I change it. I'm done with it. There's a, a few others, but that one really just rubs me the wrong way. <laughs> um. Number three. It's my daddy issues, I guess. <laughs> We're kind of getting up there. Yeah. Um, okay. So I did I did mother. Oh, okay. This is one that Mike and I were talking about the other day. <laughs> Again, it's an older song. You have to go back and listen to it. If you've never heard it, you will. It's just, you can't. Mike, you, you, you think you know what I'm talking about? Wait, I'm, I, I'm sorry. Yeah. Give him a hint. Wait, say it again? I'll give you a hint. The one we were talking about, the song that I can't stand. Um, let me think. What can I say? Fuck Dutch progressive yodeling. Hocus Pocus. <laughs> by Focus. <laughs> by Focus, yeah. yep. <laughs> it's Hocus Pocus. Fuck that song. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> That song, and the, and the cat just ran. <laughs> the cat is that fucking song. The cat ran song. out of the room. Yo 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 yo. That those dilly are the dilly lyrics. and to what, the chamber of fucking I wanted to make death. sure that I had the band's name right because I couldn't. I but you know what I mean. Focus, so focus, I focus. so I googled it, <laughs> and, it, and the lyrics actually came up for it. <laughs> Yo di do di lo di do di yo di do lo di do di do. There's like six lines, and it's just lo yodeling. Because 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 I was on YouTube, and it was and YouTube was like like giving me hate it too, don't you? Like you YouTube suggested it to me, like in you know in the column where it like throws up similar videos. I'm like. Oh my god, I haven't heard it in so long and then I played it and I was like <laughs> I was playing it when I was talking to him. If we took a fucking room full of one hundred people I'm gonna play like Steve Harvey here. Hey playo. If we took a room full of one hundred pay we surveyed one hundred people with that fucking song. I listed it on my seventy of them would hate it. I listed it on my runners up. Okay. Seventy people would hate that song out of a hundred, I think. It's that bad. Yeah. It is. Yeah. I Agreed? Yeah. I agree. We agree. Yep, yeah, it was a I, did I put on your it actually was. Nine it out was, of ten dentists agree. It was ranked uh, number one. <laughs> wow! For seven weeks, I think. Seven weeks. Really? That's people. Yeah, that was, were, people where, were doing a, People were doing a lot of ass. The, it was the. I think it was the wow. Billboard Hot 100. Wow, that's crazy. That people did a lot. Fucking like people did a lot of drugs. Then. As good as the rock music was back then, man, the pop music. Yeah, but then, so bad. you see, but the same. But it's here. the same maniacal. Well, I, did I write down the year? No. Like, like, look at the pop charts of 1974. It's awful. Or that was 73, but just the, 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 those anything between 70 and 74. Yeah, but it was, was delightful bad. compared to today. You know, it's well, sure, of course. That's why That's show. why there's so delightful. few songs from the early 70s <laughs> on my list, today. man. Don't you know? about 74. Don't no, rock wise, show, man. Like, we don't complain about 74. I wonder, I wonder how many people who listen to this are actually going to look up some of these songs because... Look up Billy Don't Be a Hero and The Night Chicago Guy. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> hooked on a feeling. And don't be a fool Chicago with your life. Seasons in the Sun. But we all know them. <laughs> I don't even know the words. <laughs> <laughs> Glory be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Billy um, Don't Be a Hero. Billy, don't be a hero. The seventies were fucked up, man. (laughs) Rock me gently, rock me slow. Yeah. Andy Kim. Oh boy, here up, Mike. What do you got? The fact that I know that is number three, man. Nothing. I find nothing more repulsive than the sound of rock and rap together. 
And uh, mm. I have what you did for number nine. I can't decide. So you had those two songs for number nine. Yeah. I really can't decide if it's uh, that Kid Rock song, uh, My Name is Kid, or whatever, bang, a bang, bang, dang, ding, ding, bang, a bang, a bang, bang, yeah. and you're the fucking, you ball know, ball. And yo, 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 with the ho, ho, ho. You know, any of that fuck. And the other one is uh, Give It Away by the Red Hot Chili yep. Peppers. Or what's the name of that song? Is that Give what it it's called? Give yeah. It Away. Any of that? Nah. The Can't deal with it. To get it, put it in you. I love that song. I, I can see that. Group. I can see that. Yep, it's all annoying. It's a whole universe of annoying songs, huh, guys? That's what we're reaching uh, tonight. You know? Yeah, it's uh, there's a lot, a lot of weeds you got to pick through to get to the fruit. One song I definitely don't like it was a pop song, man, from a couple of years ago. It was like a club song, I think, but I found it especially irritating by Flo Rida. <laughs> <laughs> but what isn't irritating from Flo? Flo Rida you, himself is just irritating. Is the, the, he's from Florida, the song, by the way. The song was, uh, yeah. uh, Yes, I heard you were the wild one. Show me how you do. I don't even fucking know that. What? Know. When, did, when did that come out? Uh, oh, it's like, five or se- it's like five or seven years old now. Yeah. If it took your heart, it'd be a home run. I'm not surprised you guys don't know. It was terrible. But it has that fake... I'm surprised you, I'm surprised you did. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's, where I, that's, where, that's, where I, that's where I was that time in my life. When he said Flo Rida, we all we just looked at like... When I'm in Florida, I listen to Flo Rida. <laughs> it was the people I was hanging out with. But it has that thing. Don't you Is guys it? hate this? Uh, the fake crescendo. All these club songs go... <laughs> and then a big fake... <laughs> yeah, it's like, I hate that fake energy. <laughs> yeah, you're right. They all do that. I'm getting this fucking song out there before anybody steals my thunder on it because I hate it that fucking much. If I see Brett Michaels pick up a guitar again and sing fucking Every Rose Has Its Thorn, I'm going to smash him with it. There you go. I, I, that fucking, every time, I like to welcome Brett Michaels Absolutely from Poison, bad. and he's got the red fucking bandana on with the cowboy hat because he's bald, and he's got that fucking acoustic <laughs> guitar. Goes, we both lie, shine, and still. You don't have any other fucking songs in your catalog, dude? <laughs> Brett Michaels, everybody. It's the one, it's the get, one like, as an aging uh, vocalist and aging rock star, it's probably the one he's like least ashamed of, where he could say, I wrote this, and I could, it's, it, I could play it on an acoustic. He thinks it's is, country rock is, and yeah, whatever he, the fuck it is. Fuck that song. And he's rolling in money from that song he is and all of these people are probably yeah. rolling in money oh. from these songs but that fucking song is a piece of shit oh <laughs> it well, is that's out of this entire fucking night that's the biggest piece of shit song ever written i never like <laughs> it is slightly brett michaels and all of them i never like i'll listen to fucking super trip before i listen in there burning down fucking justice league building <laughs> while i'm smashing brett michaels with his own guitar <laughs> That's where I'll listen to that fucking Super Tramp while I'm beating that fucking dude's up with his song. <laughs> Fuck that song. <laughs> fucking Brett Michael. Fuck. I, I just, where do you, I, I don't, where do you get off with that? For fuck, that song's, how old is that song? 88? Maybe 89? Uh, yeah. And he's still fucking prancing around like he just wrote it. <laughs> he's just clinging on, man. Fucking he's hanging on. Life, for dear life. And now, you know what? People this summer are going to get to hear him fucking sing it because they're touring. Oh God! And PNC okay, Bank Arts Center. A lot of girls, I guess, are still paying. Oh, to see all Brett the chicks. Michaels. We're going to see Brett Michaels. Yeah, yeah you fucking retards. Hey. <laughs> I agree, man. That song Holy just gets shit. me. My friend Betty, man. My <laughs> my friend Betty and Steve. Every year, I should show you the text. Every year for our birthday, we send a fucking picture of Brett Michaels to each other in like some fucking wacky cowboy because we both agree with that song. When they opened up for fucking Motley Crue, we fucking made the joke that crew was going to be coming out, gas, gas, and fucking Brett was going to come out and go, boom, and kick him right off the stage. And go, we both last sound of still in the dead of the night. It's going to be a whole fucking night, an hour and a half, uh, the 90 minute set of him doing fucking Every Rose Has Its Thorn. We're poison, down to our, are poison, we, that, poison under gun fire, man. That's why we call this show Rock Under Fire. Poor C.C. DeVille. <laughs> are we our last two? Yeah, last two. Number okay. two. I had to get that one out before anybody stole it from me if it was on their list. I don't. I don't. I don't. Again. My list is what it is, man. Like, yours are more <laughs> popular like, songs. Now I feel like I should have been a little bit more, you know. No. Like, oh, don't start doubting that, yourself. That's bullshit. Right. There's songs that okay. you don't There's like. another Lester. song. Some of them hit, some of them miss. Because it's just so God, it's just one of those songs that I had the pleasure of listening to in my youth, 
and I, I it's. I can't even have anything to say about it. it, it, I I have. I'm I'm gonna. I'm gonna put the. We'll put the links up with the the thing to make it easier for you to reference these godforsaken songs that are just. It's a song from a group called. I don't even remember what year it was. Sixty-eight. I wrote it down just so you could go and look. Zager and Evans. Mm. And Mike knows it. It's a freaking song. In the year twenty five, twenty five. We used to sing that in school twenty five, right? I remember that song. It, 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 when you hear it, and I, I'm going to tell you why. Because my my father used to always have the radio in the garage, and every time that song came on, my mother would go, "Vinny, get that song off the radio." <laughs> You really can't really remember it because you get to that far it's and you're okay. just like, don't, don't fuck your brain up over that song. But, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> And you have to watch because there's actually a, a what, you know one of those old school music videos of it too. Lord. So thought provoking, <laughs> so thought so thought provoking. Like I'm not seeking any of these songs. What was songs going on in the year 2545? What were they saying? Was it gonna be the apocalypse? I can't remember. Buying fucking cars, buying. Cars I don't think I even. Ma- I don't think I made it that far because I think the opening <laughs> words of the song are in the year 2525. <laughs> <laughs> and then by then, my father had changed the station. <laughs> But that one, I have to say, it did come in a co- close to Rock and Roll by Gary Glitter because, you know, I, I'm f- severely frightened of that man. <laughs> he looks like Fucking Frankenstein. Guys. He's a pedophile. He's locked up. He lo- yeah, he looks he looks like Frankenstein in Silver Spandex. Yeah, he's a fucking whack job. That Whoa, man. totally whack. I think he was in... Um... He, uh, was it the Philippines or something? But he was a fucking pedophile. Yeah, I, I, I have a, I have a very unnatural anymore. fear of that man, but I always did. Maybe, <laughs> maybe it's a sixth <laughs> sense that I have. He made millions <laughs> off of that. Yeah, yeah. 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 Rock and roll. Rock and roll. Rock and roll. Yeah. Well, I, I would millions off of that. Oh, yeah, is there football stadium? Yeah, mm-hmm. not anymore. You fucking start diddling little boys. That's what happens. They take away your yeah. fortune and throw nope, you. In they a kill fucking... him. Yeah, so do I. Still Filipino song, jail. Though, no, fuck stupid. that. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> Just don't pay him for it. You're right. You should give up his rights to the song. I wonder if we're, we're gonna. I wonder if we're gonna be unanimous on our top song. That's not. No, I can't. See I doubt that it. Happening. Hell oh, no. No, no he's, he's actually. He's actually sung my number one song. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> um. All right, so my number two. Oh, uh, I know, I know what song it is. My, I know what song my number it is. two is. Uh, all right, yeah, I think I do. Well, number two is uh, like those songs that you know, like I said, like some songs that you don't like uh, has some sort of like redeeming qualities to it. Like you may you may hate a song because of its chorus, but the verses are okay. Like I like this song, but if it wasn't if it wasn't just like for the chorus, man, this song would be good, or vice versa, right? This song has no redeeming qualities whatsoever. <laughs> the whole thing. <laughs> The whole thing sucks, man. Just Beginning to shit. end, man. Just Beginning a big to pile end. of stinking dog uh, shit. It's called "What's Up" by Four Non Blondes. Oh, oh Blondes. yeah, possibly wow. the most annoying fucking song ever. You're here, written, hey. Uh, there's that. It's like it's like uh, in fucking What's Getty Lee. On? It's like if Getty Lee and Mighty Mouse had a baby. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and it's just like there, you know, like that. There's that Rush song, "Spirit of Radio," yeah, which is a great right. song, but it's got like one fucking. There's like ten seconds of "Spirit of the Radio," "Spirit of Radio" that I always cringed at going back to childhood, man. That one line where he says, um, uh, and echoes with the sounds of salesmen, yeah. and is that of salesmen, of salesmen, right? Yeah. It's like they that took that. It's like they like isolated her. that one yeah. part and wrote an entire fucking song around that wow. one annoying part. What's going on? That's you crazy. Know? And it's like it's annoying as fuck. That like the only thing worse than the verse is the chorus, and it just like gets worse from beginning to end. She is a huge success. She's a great songwriter, songwriter from what I hear. Yeah. She wrote She's a lot of Linda stuff for Perry, her. right? Yeah, she wrote a lot of stuff for Christina Aguilar. She's a very successful oh. songwriter. Doesn't mean the song doesn't suck. Yeah, it. No, no, no! I'm not defending that song. <laughs> no, at no, all. No, 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 no! Yeah, I guess it. Well, it's just, it's just annoying. It's cringeworthy. It's very cringeworthy. Oh. Very cringeworthy. I think I didn't like it because it was. Oh my god! I, what's I don't. Li- <laughs> I don't like a lot of women in in music, <laughs> and I can't. That's Lilith Fair bullshit. Yeah, it's a, that shit exactly. <laughs> it's it, it, shave her absolutely legs right. Shit like it's, that it's Lilith Fair. All that hair on her. Vaggie hat. <laughs> yeah, vaggie hat. <laughs> you know, uh, it, there's a whole. It's just it, it's vagina music, and I don't vagina like it. Music. You know, a vagina song that I do like in that same genre though, the Paula Cole. Oh, oh God! Yeah. I see. 
I like that song. That song's a guilty pleasure for me. I like that. And I know it. And I know it sucks, but I like it. Oh, it's a long. I'm admitting that in front of you guys. Yeah. Wasn't it from yeah. Dawson's Creek? Is that Dawson's, Dawson's Creek? Creek, right? Yeah. I'm confessing, I liked it. Oh, here in front of you all. I'm ashamed. I'm ashamed. <laughs> Same thing. She though. probably didn't shave her legs either. Paul did not. Right, so Paul had a hairy bush. Oh, um, we're wrap. No, no, it's no, not. Wait. We're not stick. Oh, yeah, I mean, oh, that's right. Settle down here, Tracy Tracy. I'll make mine quick, Let's man. Let's go to a commercial break. I've only heard the song a handful of times in my life. Yeah, maybe a couple times in a bar. Oh, by the way, real quick, though, that last song that you said became like an intergenerational hit, man. The kids were singing that song, man. Like, I, uh, you, you still hear that being sung. Yeah. Ugh. That's like the gift that keeps on giving. Yeah, it won't go away. Oh, my God. Sorry. Yeah. Kids <laughs> sing that now. It's popular. Oh my God! Shave your own legs. <laughs> but I cut, but uh, I cut myself off. Uh, anyway, yeah, this 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 song you guys probably know it. I think it sucks, man. Uh, I had to look up who it was tonight. It turns out it's Puddle of Mud, and it's uh, that song from the '90s. Fucking she fucking hates, hates me. Mm. Yeah, yeah, you know that. That dude. I think that fucking, blows. That dude's a turd too, man. Really? He's a real fucking good. Good. Dumb. You, you guys are feeling me on this one. Isn't it? Oh yeah. <laughs> la, 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 la. Yeah, that's she it. Fucking I think that song blows. That's all he does. Right, is blah 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 blah. Need yeah, some words there. Blah blah blah. I can, blah, I can bring blah. the yeah, the words. I can bring the words up if you want to see. It's really yeah, bad. Yeah, it is the course. It's really blah, bad. Blah 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 blah. blah, 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 blah. Just, yeah. yeah. Hey, fuck. I need a word there. People blah, think blah, that's blah. Nirvana. If you, James yeah. Brown fucking needed oh a word. He was like, how? He fucking throw that up. This guy goes blah 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 blah. Yeah. She fucking hates me. Yeah. I wonder why. Because you're a drunken derelict. That's why she hates you, though. You know something about that guy, huh? Yeah, he's been in the news recently because he can't fucking... He's a piece of shit drunk. Really? Yeah, piece Damn. of shit drunk. Really? Yeah, his own bandmates are like, this guy's a fucking loose cannon piece of shit. Hmm. Um, All right. I missed that. Well, we're... I'm going to go with... I, I got to save that other one for last. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me again. I'm going to go with fucking... I'm saying it. I don't care. Fuck Dream On by Aerosmith. Yeah, I'm done with that. I, I, I'm, I'm done with that. <laughs> You know, they have a really good catalog of music, man. I mean, obviously, they wouldn't be doing it as long as they have been. But Dream On? Nah. You know, it, yeah, and you know what it sucks is that they were such a great band. And I'm real happy that they made their comeback. And they made some good records after their comeback. And they all cleaned up or whatever they did. But when you start looking at that, some of that older stuff, they don't play. They, they glorified songs like that instead of, like, fucking Kings and Queens. And, you know, the really good fucking classic Aerosmith stuff. They... Oh, let's fucking... The 15-year-olds are buying our records now because of fucking permanent vacation. Let's fucking give them Dream On again over and over and over. Walk, and water walk down. this way in that same category. Yeah, I could be done with Walk This Way. Yeah. I could be definitely be done with Walk This Way. Oh, wait, no. I know Mikey would be because of um, the, the Run DMC thing. That but. too. Take that Run DMC. Thing. Even yeah. before Run DMC did that song, I didn't like it. It wasn't a very good song. You know, I don't like... Yeah, I like... Uh, and it's and for me, it's crazy. Like, you know, Aerosmith will have my head... Er, the, the fans will have my head for this. But I think Walk This Way, Sweet Emotion, are like the holes in the middle of Toys in the Attic. Like, mm. that album's great, but emotion. it's just like my I, I do like Sweet Emotion. Stuff. I, I see your point about them being the holes on the record. Yeah. Though. But Dream On but I feel like way with a lot of hits. All the three of those, Sweet Emotion too. Fast forward. I won't listen to any of those three songs. See, I like Dream On. I, I, like I never had a problem with Dream On. I think it's... Uh, I think it's brilliant. It's overplayed. I don't care to hear it much, but like it's yeah. just one of those songs. Like, you know, when I hear it, it's like, yeah, this is good, man. The the, the opening guitar riff is. It's 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 one that I won't turn off the radio. Oh, I turned it off. I, I've turned it off. I believe, but you know, I, I, sure and I, I always I repeat this over and over. It's overplayed, man. Maybe I'm on order or something. No, no we're good. Thanks. Um. <laughs> I'll leave Stairway to Heaven on before I leave Dream On. Oh. Then I'm. Really sick of fucking Stairway to Heaven. Yeah, yeah, yeah but you know, I always say neck with the same Steven Tyler thing. wrote that song when he was seventeen, <laughs> so it's kind of <laughs> prolific in a way to me. I won't doubt how great it is. It's and, just and I, I I will I always listen to it. I like it. Written, man. I, I wouldn't change anything about it. Fucking hater. <laughs> I am. I am <laughs> here to fucking hate and stir shit what? up. Is that is that me that stinks? I'm like, damn. Might be me. I, I got that wet no, it's dog me. smell. <laughs> <laughs> Nasty. All right, number oh. one. Number right. one. Yes. This band is a great band. <clears throat> <laughs> they are so good. Make this band great again. So good. Richie, you're a nice boy. Richie. Yeah. But. <laughs> They're so good. Their songs, they, they sing songs, Sister Golden Hair. 
Mm. Oh. Wow. Tin Man. I know where you're going. Ventura I know. Highway, some of the most grooviest, awesome songs you could ever this- freaking listen to. And this song makes me. It makes no. I understand the time the songs are written in. I can't. It's See horse with no name. Is the desert <laughs> with this life underground. underground. <laughs> Fuck you stupid. and this song sucks. Punch yourself. Plants and trees and rocks <laughs> and, and things. shit. Yeah. And things. And different things. And things. Yeah. Kind of stuff. <laughs> yeah, it's really bad songwriting. You can just hear him. Yeah, plants and rocks and trees. Birds and things. Yeah. Again, maybe if I was on LSD at the time. It might have some kind of sacred meaning to me, but in the desert. It's just one of those songs you just like, name. why did his band go and then nah, did the clip clopping nah, in the song nah, and you're like, nah, Oh, nah, oh, nah, oh nah, I can't nah, I can't nah, nah. I let the horse run free in the desert. <laughs> I'm singing like Ethel Mervin again. And the yeah. desert became a sea. Yeah. Horse with no name Tracy's <laughs> All that is my all-time number one most hated song, or the song that you can't stand the most. Awesome, cause there ain't no one for to give you no pain. How many people out there that actually still think that that's Neil Young? I never that, did. Uh, yeah, Crosby's a lot. Of, it could. Yeah, it could be. It could be. It could be. There you go, Crosby. But if you didn't man. listen to either and you just knew about them, you could easily think that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think I thought that at one time. Did I say the band was America? America, yeah. America, I like Ventura. Fuck yeah. America. Ventura Highway. America. Except for I'm proud to be an American. <laughs> they just sound like see, they, they sound like Crosby Stills and Nash just in general. Now that I think about it, like yeah. Tin Man especially. Yeah, but it's good music. Man. Yeah, it's just yeah, it's groovy. Like some some people think that the uh, oh man, the fuck ah uh, shit. <laughs> He's g- and there it goes. <laughs> All right, Mike. All right, my my number one is uh, probably the most generic ballad ever written. Uh, if we take all of the rock star cliches and stereotypes of uh, bad relationships and drugs and alcohol and Trashy codependency. Let us try and guess. And we take a and we take a pinch of the Eagles' new kid in town, and we put it in a blender and mix it all up. Uh, you get uh, that song when Kid Rock tried to be a tried to pass oh. himself off as a rock star, and he teamed white up. White trash Joe stairway Cole. to heaven. Wow. The white trash stairway to heaven. I have sang that at karaoke. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it, it, it it pops up in every dive bar, Picture. every bar. It wasn't necessarily just dive bars, but you know, and everybody that hears that song, everybody's got to like scream the lyrics. At the top of their lungs and close their eyes and move their heads around like they're so into it because they can't believe that a great fucking song like this exists. Fuck you. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Is that the song? Picture. Picture. Like, picture. Like, picture. No, picture. It's picture? called. Yeah. The Skinner oh, one is uh, all summer. So it's just like you can just like tell, man. It's like there's like a demographic thing, man, because you like like the socialites, like the rich socialites in New York when they break up. This is not their music, man. You know, it's just, you know, I can't see them like, you know, I ain't seen your face in three damn nights. You know, like that whole like that whole line where Sheryl Crow is like, yeah. it's just ugh. <laughs> cringeworthy, man. <laughs> ugh. Okay. What's that a reference to uh, Sheryl Crow? She's on the song. She sings. Oh, yeah. really? It's a, yeah, it's a duet with him. him and it's. You got to play this for me later. I, I don't know if I know. It's, I want to know. You know what it is? It's, 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 it could be any country song. It, it, really? Exactly. It could any be country any duet. country duet. Any country duet. I don't hate the song. And it could have been it could have been Willie Nelson and Dolly Parton. I swear to God. I it's, it's like except for the cocaine, cocaine part. That's <laughs> so you make it sound like a real popular song. I must know the song. They were probably recording in the same studio, different booths, and he banged yeah. her, drank a little bottle of Jack, and then the, that was the byproduct of it instead of a baby. Do you remember like that one Flintstones episode where like Fred Flintstone is walking around Bedrock and everywhere he goes is another Fred Flintstone? Yeah. Yabba, dabba, do. Yeah. Yabba, I do remember that. Opens the door, gaba, gaba. That's fucking. <laughs> that's picture for me. Everywhere I fucking go. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> <laughs> when, when you're here in the fucking bar, everybody's like fucking talking amongst themselves. Man, that song comes on, everybody's like. All fucking singing it. And the girls are like, that's our song they're playing. Oh, my God. And they're all drunk and stupid and got their <laughs> yeah. arms around it. I put the picture away. Sounds like another song. Sounds like, like me. Sounds like me. <laughs> that people that don't like music like. 
Yeah. That's like another example. Yeah. Right? yeah. Stick Nixon's number one song. I don't know if this is my most hated song of all time necessarily, man, but one song I had to look it up. I know you guys know this song. Like the last one, I probably heard it like four or five times in a bar in my life. But I had to look it up. I'm not even sure I know the name of it. I don't know. It's called uh, the Chainsaw Song by a band called Jackal. Jackal. Where the chainsaw <laughs> is the guitar solo. Yeah. It's, like, <laughs> <laughs> it's called uh, Lumberjack. Lumberjack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and the end of it, he's... Right? <laughs> That one. that one, that <laughs> one. That's funny. That's you got great. a song on her. She loves my cock on that record. Yeah. Uh huh. It's about, like it's like about a rooster though. It's not like the you know. It's not like your body. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She loves my cock. <laughs> he sounds like ACDC too. That's, that's yeah. he sounds like Bond or he's fucking... got the screeching voice. <laughs> that's a good one. That is a good one. All right. All right. Rap. Now. Every Rose Has Its Storm by Poison should have been my number one. I was worried one of you fuckers was going to get it out there first, so I threw it out there. Um, but this song is is also, it's very close between that this one and, and, and Every Rose. Mother by fucking Danzig. That uh. fucking piece of shit song, piece of shit guy. I, I, really, I don't even like him. I fucking gave that record away. I was DJing. Gave it away. Really? And I then like that it. Song, you gotta disagree, bro. That like song it. comes popular again. It's now all of a sudden it's blowing up. And is it blowing up again? No, no, no. This is back in the day when I was DJing. I was DJing at a strip club, and the girls like, "Do you have mother?" I'm like, "By Danzig, I just gave that fucking CD away. I was using it as a fucking coaster." <laughs> I want mother, mother, your mother, my dancing. And now I gotta be mother. Yeah, you gotta go out and this buy it again. This goes out to all the single fucking moms in the bar dancing tonight. Your other mother's out tonight. Fuck that song. <laughs> and he's got another song on that same album. Fuck, I don't even know what it, it's called. Twist the King is on that album. Ever, What's, song? What's it called? Twist the King. Twist the King. That's it. Yeah. So I used to call that the mashed potato song. Mashed and mashed potatoes. Mashed and mashed potatoes. Baby. That's it. This isn't. Oh. <laughs> but is there anything? Does really? Does dancing have a song that's good? No. 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 That shouldn't even count. <laughs> and he got kicked. He got his ass kicked by one of his fucking road crew. He got that shit beat out of him. <laughs> that should be disqualified because no, dancing just kidding. sucks in yeah. general so bad. He worked. I work for you, and you still fucking suck. Fuck you. <laughs> Bam! And he punched him in the face. Yeah, that's yes. Incredible video. Guy, yeah. That was a guy in another band, I think, that jacked him. Not as oh, it was? It was another band? band? Okay. Yeah, I forgot what band it was. But... I thought it was like a, to- a, ro- like a road crew yeah, guy. Right yeah, he beat the Mike, shit you out. Mike, we... <laughs> that was great. You got your on- any honorable mentions? Um, Yeah, I had one because I was really kind of hung up. And he was saying, um, he was trying to jump. And mine was, it, it was, it was dan- actually mine. I, one that I crossed off was uh, Dancing in the Street. Huh. The Van Halen version, but then oh, I remembered. Yeah. But then I remembered. I love the. Then I remembered. Close to the guitar wait, work wait. That, though. But then let us transition yeah. to the David Bowie and Mick Jagger. Oh, Re- South America. And and the whole thing, just in general, is a bad song. It the never should have been written. Fucking look at how that culminated. Yes, and fucking Reebok. And Mick Jagger running around in a fucking silk oh. cape like he's. I don't even know what the hell was going what on the there. Z Cavari. Ricci pants and their yeah, fucking so. open button down shirts. So, and, 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 oh, Christ. and then. Uh, That's a good one. Uh, Capizios or something. So, yeah. it, was, it was. That one was, was probably, you know, the one that I couldn't. That's yeah. That's my honorable mention. I um, a few here, man. All of them, all the versions. Yeah. Besides the entertainer and piano man, and uh, obviously Horse with No Name that we talked about before, uh, a few that didn't make my list that were. So, uh, Hooked on a Feeling. Yeah. Uh, gypsies, Tramps, and Thieves. Yeah. By Cher, song. Lion Sleeps Tonight, mm-hmm. and uh, Killing Me Softly. Lion Sleeps Tonight. I can Roberta do Flatt. Oh, I love yeah. Gypsies, Tramps, and Thieves, though. Yeah, man. Yeah, I didn't put any other one up there. That was really good, though. You got any honorable mentions, Stick? No, I particularly gave my whole list. <laughs> Mine was another band. I'll, I'll give the song. It's um, The song was It's For You. The band was Candlebox. Another record I gave away. It's for you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 
I'm well taking no more is for you. You know, it's early uh, too long before uh, grunge and that empty period from a couple years where there's nothing. He tried gave the record away. New cool band, but they weren't. Gave it away. That's the only other honorable mention, really, song that I have on her. I, 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 boy, that was one hell of a fucking that workout, fun. huh? That was fun. Hell yeah, man. <laughs> there was a lot of filth floor and floor and filth flying around. Yeah, there was a filth floor. And I, I, yeah. <laughs> So anyway, this is Rock Under Fire podcast. This one's not for this rock, one's rock not safe for work. Com. Rock Under Fire on iTunes. Find us on Facebook. Uh, subscribe to our uh, iTunes. What is it? Channel? YouTube channel? Whatever it is. Oh, it was it episode forty three? At this point, uh, you know, if you know us, you know us. If you're still listening and you're new to the show, welcome aboard. We'll see you next time. <laughs>